Hello my friends. I hope you've been enjoying hearing some stories about Mr. Panda this week. That donut loving panda. Because here he is again. This one is called Good Night Mr. Panda and it is by Steve Anthony. Alright. Good night Mr. Panda. See a big cozy bed with a quilt on it. A nice bubble bath. Hmm. Whose tail with that scrubbing brush could that be? Maybe the lemur? Oh, I'm going to bed. Good night, Mr. Panda. Yawn. Look at that hippo. He's such stinky breath. Mr. Panda says, you've forgotten to brush your teeth. I'll brush them twice in the morning. My mouth is minty fresh. Good night, hippo. It's cuddly time, Mr. Panda. Good night. Oh, the skunk's got the blankie. You've forgotten to take a bath. I only take a bath once a month. It's the day circled in red. And here's Lemur. Lemur says, I'm squeaky clean. Good night, skunk. You should go to bed, sloth. I'm too tired to move. We are going to bed. Good night, Mr. Panda. You forgotten your pajamas. Sheep don't wear pajamas. But I do, says the lemur. Good night, sheep. Look, I like how his tail is striped and his pajamas are striped. Are you going to bed, Mr. Panda? Yes. But haven't you forgotten something? Ooh, the panda forgot something? <gasps> Good night, lemur. Good night, Mr. Panda. Oh, a hug. Cordelia and Phoebe never go to bed without a hug and a kiss. But, Mr. Panda. That's my bed. Uh, Mr. Panda fell asleep in the little bed. Wait a minute. Oh my. And Lemur got to sleep in the big panda's bed. Well, I hope you have done all of your bedtime jobs and you are getting cozy and ready for bed. I know we always take a bath, brush our teeth, put on our pajamas, definitely need a bedtime story, and then a hug and a kiss goodnight. So here's one for me. I love you very much, my friends, and I will see you with another story again soon. I'm sending you a big heart.